Less than a year after he died, his untimely passing, even though we say to God, all life belongs, a book has been published about the man. I suspect that this book will open a floodgate of commentaries and accounting about the life and times of this very complex individual. So to generate a text already in less than one year, means the substantive nature of his life has been recognized. And the implication is that there will be a lot of work to be done to celebrate his passage, to comment on his legacy, to promote his idea and his deals, or to criticize them as is natural with every human circumstance. It is my honor to welcome all of you to this very important occasion. Very important because we are looking at the life of a statesman posthumously. We have very many distinguished and here in this hall, and it's our responsibility to provide this platform for this particular book launch. I want to enjoin all of you to, with the presence of your minds, digest the content of this book so that the life and times of the late Malam Abakari can be put in correct perspective. When, when I went forward to greet him and we discussed Nigeria, in fact, he took my number. And after that time, we kept relating on national issues. And I realized that one, the late Abakari in the first instance was never a fanatic. He's somebody who loves every Nigerian. Whether you're a Christian or a Muslim, he never cared. His focus was what you have to offer. He promoted unity, particularly within the presidency of President Muhammad Buhari in the last five years. He ensured that everything was done in accordance with national interests, national peace, and national stability for the good of this country. It is therefore my great pleasure to be here, to appreciate this man, and also indulge on all of you to not only read the book, but read it with the sense of understanding what the quality of the man is, what he stood for, and what we expect in our life. And when we have no more, how, what are the legacies that we'll leave behind? How would we want people to recall our lives? It is very important. How can people remember you when you leave? is very important. The matter, the issue with regards to controversy is normal. Some of us are into it, we will continue to be in it. Some of, some of us are being hated, we will continue to do what we believe in. And that's exactly what Abba has done until his death. As many of you here in knew my father very closely, I would also like to thank you for all the support you gave him, not only after his passing, but during his his time in office, while while working for a, for a better Nigeria, as time goes on, more and more stories will will come out of how he dedicated his life for the country to move forward. And thank you again once once again for attending the event, and we can all look to him and his experience for a lesson in being dedicated to a cause and actually having a reason to get up every day and sticking by the right thing and helping one another around us. So thank you once again everyone for attending and have a good day. Thank you very much. As we unveil the book,
who I was opportune to meet sometime last year in London, where I spoke with him, I said, I'm surprised the perception I had or the perception that has been going around the country about you seemed not to be true. I could see his um, resolve, I could see his um, interest in Nigeria, I could see his passion in nation building. And I said to him, sir, I would like to tell your story, the Nigerian way, I would like to tell your story through our own prism so that future generations, generation unborn, can pick up your book, you know, in time to come, read about your legacy, what you stand for, the policies you stand for as an individual and for the government that you represent.